Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode here on Dangerous African Confessions HD. I would like to stress that, this video is not to suggest that, all pastors are involved in all the things or the immoral practices or acts that we are going to hear about in this video. We do bring or bring into your notice of the things that might or are happening out there so you will be fully aware of the tricks when they pull one up on you. Again we would like to state that, what we are about to listen to, is a chat between us and a sister about the things she has done with a pastor. To understand this whole thing and get to know the truth behind all that our dear sister wants to share, let us go and listen to what she has for us. Please know that I will be reading straight from the messages I had with her and so, if things get messed up, kindly forgive me. I will not want to bother you with the questions I asked, so I have put together her responses to my questions in a form of one piece which I will read to you. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video so that others can listen to it. Hi, I hope you are fine. I have been in a situation where I am really suffering in my life. Especially when it comes to my health. I really want to tell you about things that I got myself involved with. What I want to talk about is we home, is just about the lifestyle I lived with some pastors when I was growing up as a young lady. And the people that I did things with along the way, I believe when I talk about doing things, I hope you do understand me. Okay, so at this point in my life, what I want to say is that I am married, and I have begun to feel the result of the things that I may have done coming to me right now. Let me establish that, I have this fear that I am going to lose my husband. This is because, we have been married for seven years now and I have not been able to get pregnant for him. At first he assured me that there was nothing for us to worry about, since he knows that it is God that gives children. But for some time now, he comes home and he is quiet. He will go to bed sometimes without even touching the food I have done for him. I know things are beginning to come down upon me. I don't know if I should talk to my mother about what I am sharing with you. Because I feel bad about that kind of things I have done before. Yes I keep on saying things that I have done because I wanted to let you know from my marriage then I can go into what really transpired between me and then the pastor that I want to talk about. Okay then, let me say that, I had gone to a friend to discuss to her about my problems that I was facing during that time of my life. This is like 12 years now, if I am not mistaken, it will be between 10 and 12 years now. At that time my business had come crushing down and I didn't know what to do with what I was going through during that time. That was when my friend told me about a pastor that she normally goes to see for directions, when things become difficult for her. Yes that was how come I got to know the pastor. My friend took me to the pastor and we had a talk about my life and all the things I was going through. What made me to believe him was that, when my friend took me to him, he had finished ministration and we joined the line for those who wanted to go for counseling. It was during the counseling sessions that I am saying I believe as him. Yes I believed him because he talked about certain things that had happened to me growing up. I mean in my early teens. So yeah. I got to have some faith in him that, he could be the one to see me through my problems spiritually. You know what I mean. I remember that day he prayed for me and gave me a direction which he told me to call him when I am done with the direction. Yes so, what happened was that, he gave me a number to call when I am through with the directions so that he can do what he called spiritual search, to know if everything was done correctly. That was how I got in connection with him. That is how I got to be connected with him. It was as a result of that direction and the contact that I was supposed to call that he got to also have my number. A week after I had finished the direction that was given and I had called him to inform him, he called me to meet him for a discussion but this time it was not his church. No, he is not the one that called me. When I called it was his assistant that answered. That guy was also there when I first met the pastor. So he was the one that answered the call and he told me that he will pass on the message to his papa. In the church, his name is not normally mentioned. They all called him papa, whether old man or young man, they were all calling him papa. So, it was the guy that called me and told me that, his pastor said I should meet him for a discussion concerning what he has seen on my life as far as the problem I went to his church is about. So when I met the guy, he said the pastor asked me to wait for him in a hotel where he was going to be with me. Yes it was a hotel that I met him alone the first time. Yes it was a hotel. 
I will tell you this, it is something that they do. During my time that I was with him, I was not the only one who was going to the hotel with him. That I know. But that didn't really bother me, because I knew he was married and I was just someone he was having a time with. Brother, I know you are confused but, the truth is he was supporting me with money at first. That is why I became suited to and okay with the things K was doing with him. He even made me break up with my boyfriend then. Yes, he said there was no way someone who is filled with the power of God should share me with anyone. So knowing the kind of benefits I was getting from him, I had to break IP with my boyfriend. It was that 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 we first did it together. I know you want me to be specific but, well, anyways he first had sexual intimacy with me. Yes, honestly I didn't want to do it at first, but he said that if I really wanted him to help me, I needed to be someone that he can release certain things into me, which was the power in him to do away with anything that was fighting me. I will say yes I was naive and desperate at the same time. That is why I bought into that. And on top of it, the promise that he made to me about giving me money to push my business as well. That is how we became frequent intimate partners. Let me put it this way. During my time with him, I did a lot of things and I saw a lot of things too. One of the things that I did with him or he did with me was that, when he wanted to have intimacy with me, he always preferred to do it from my behind. I believe you know what I want to talk about. That is where he will want to do it, then when he is about to finish, he will do it from the normal way and put it in me. He will only do it the normal way only when he is about to finish. That was so shocking at first to me, but he managed to convince me to it. And the naked truth is that, I have become so addictive to doing it from my behind even more than the normal way. Which has also become a major problem with me and my husband now. The whole problem with me and my husband one is that, he is good when it comes to intimacy, but because I have now become more comfortable with doing it from my back, I don't enjoy what he does. It is more like, no matter what you do, you have to do it from there before I can be satisfied. The second problem with me and my husband is that, I am not being able to give him a child in our marriage like I said. He has asked that we go to the hospital to check now and I am afraid to agree to it. Yes because, I know what I did whilst I was with the pastor. I did a lot of ABO. I'm about six or so, which is why I'm afraid is the result of my inability to have children now. Most of them that I did came with a lot of pain and complications. Which he always find a way of convincing me to do it. No he never visited the issue I went to see him with again. You see he was giving me money here and there, and because of it, I didn't bother myself about that again. Okay, what happened? Well, I had gotten pregnant again and he wanted me to clear that pregnancy, but I was afraid. Yeah because it has gotten to a point in my life where I was always feeling pains in my lower abdomen and even pains inside me. This I believed was because of the things I was doing. So I was afraid to go through with this one too. That was what made me to start staying away and having my distance from him. That was when the messages began to come on my phone about what he was going to do to me both physically and spiritually. Because I was scared, I moved from where he knew I was staying and got a place. But that pregnancy didn't last, because I think about three to four months into it, I lost it. Nothing happened to me, I was there one morning and I felt like something has hit my waist like that. That was it, and I started seeing water coming and the rest was history. So you see, the whole problem now is, because my husband was becoming so much different from his promises, I went to pray with this pastor at a park where they pray in the evenings. He told me that, someone is manipulating my life and has vowed not to let me have peace in my life again. He told me that, the person is more or less like a spiritual person, but he possesses dark powers. That is what has drawn my attention to him that, he is responsible also. So right now, I am confused and afraid to know that it is as a result of what I did with my stomach and him working against me. Thank you. Don't forget to please subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. Like I always say, these are not just stories for story's sake. They are meant for us not to make these mistakes our brothers and sisters are making. That's why we share these stories with you. 
just like we always do in this house, please let us also hear from you our beautiful family members. Let's listen to your views and concerns and comments in the comment section. Yes just as we are here to share with ourselves what is going on out there, we do bring these conversations with you our family members to help our innocent brothers and sisters to realize what is happening out there, so they don't fall victim to some of the wolves in sheep clothing pretending to be who they are not. You see my brothers and sisters, our chat goes longer than this, but this is the main point of all that we have been talking about. I always know and say that our sisters are mainly the ones that mostly falls victim to these things. Let us come to a point in our lives that we can develop our spiritual relationships with our Maker so that some of these people going about as pastors will not take us for granted. This is once again to say that we do not have genuine men of God out there. I know we have them, but how are you going to know them? That is why the Bible calls on us to work out our own salvation. If you need comfort, advice, divine counseling, please do go to your Bible and you will find it. Then after spending time with your Bible, search within your spirit for answers, your maker who lives in you, just as he said you are his temple will give you wisdom to go about your problem. It is better to know yourself and know God for yourself, so that when you meet someone and he or she is not of God, you can easily know. Please I will advise that. Just know yourself and your Savior and follow Him diligently in order to be one with Him. Pastors are there to guide us to the truth, but then, the more you yourself do your search in the Word of the Lord, when a pastor is not of the Lord, you will know immediately. Be wise my brothers and sisters, some wolves are in sheep clothing deceiving so many people. I just hope that we honestly take the important lessons from these stories to better our lives and decisions. Stay blessed and be safe. Thanks for being a part of this growing family. Kindly share your thought with us in the comment section below. And if you are new here, please subscribe, like and share.